Good evening. I'm Laura Slavinsky. Welcome into WVUA 23 Sports. Well, the Alabama Crimson Tide came up short yesterday in Bryant-Denny Stadium. The LSU Tigers broke their eight-game losing streak with a 46-41 win over the Tide. Yesterday's win also marks their fourth top ten win this season. What a historic matchup it was as number one beat number two, even though Alabama was favored by six and a half points. Today with the Newsweek 12 rankings, LSU atop the Associated Press top 25 in Amway coaches' polls. Alabama drops to number four polls on both polls as they head into another SEC matchup this weekend on the road at Mississippi State. It was a back-and-forth affair. Quarterback Tua Tagovailoa started at quarterback with a heavily wrapped ankle. He went 21 of 40 for 418 yards and four. Touchdowns running back Najee Harris led the offense with a career-best 146 rushing yards and two scores. He also tallied 44 receiving yards and one touchdown reception. On defense, Xavier McKinney tied his career high 13 tackles, two sacks and a forced fumble, and a crucial blocked extra point. The storyline all afternoon was how can you stop LSU quarterback Joe Burrow, who even when scrambling was able to keep a play alive. LSU led the whole game, but Alabama was able to come back from a 20-point de halftime deficit. Alabama head coach Nick Saban says this loss was a learning experience. Uh, at least we gave ourselves a chance to win in terms of the way we fought back in the game, and I'm really proud of our players for that. So, you know, as an organization, you know, starting with me and everybody else, you know, we, we need to learn from this, do a better job, uh, give our players a better chance to be successful, and our players got to take advantage of that by going out there and executing and making you know, the kind of choices and decisions that's going to help them be the best players that they can be. And I think there's a lot to be learned from that you know, in this game. The 13th ranked Auburn Tigers are focused on the Georgia Bulldogs this week. Saturday in Jordan Hare Stadium, the Tigers host number five Georgia at 2.30 p.m. The game will be televised on CBS. Currently, the Bulldogs are first in the SEC East with only one loss to South Carolina. Auburn third in the SEC West is seven and two with losses from Florida and LSU. The bets are in and Georgia opened as a two and a half point favorite over the Tigers. Alabama men's basketball is looking to bounce back from their season and home opener, 81 to 80 loss against Penn last week. Today they open their practice to the media before suiting up for their second game of the season tomorrow night. Nate Oates debuted as the head coach with a close nail biting finish last week. Tomorrow he is looking to rewrite last week's storyline hosting Florida Atlantic for their second game of their season. Tomorrow's match will tip off at 7 p.m. in Coleman Coliseum. Last week, sophomore Cairo Lewis had a career-best performance, but he isn't the only player fans are excited about. Everyone is waiting to see transfer sophomore Javon Quinterly. He was denied immediate eligibility. Alabama appealed the decision, and Oates says they will have an answer tomorrow afternoon if Quinterly is eligible to play in tomorrow's contest. He, need, he needed a fresh start in a bad way. We gave it to him. I think he's done everything he's asked since he's been here. So hopefully when the committee that listens to the teleconference call, you know, hears the totality of the story, that they can show some sympathy and com compassion and agree with our attorneys and, you know, compliance people here that he deserves a chance to play right away this year. So we're hoping we get a favorable answer tomorrow. Alabama Volleyball was back in Foster Auditorium this afternoon for a match against the Tennessee Volunteers on Friday. They lost to Missouri in five sets. Alabama Volleyball took on Tennessee in Foster Auditorium this afternoon, with the Volunteers already ahead two sets to none. They seem to dominate the third match, especially with these two hand shoves from Alyssa and Drino. But Alabama would not give up. With a good dig to keep the play alive, Tennessee sends a tip and Alabama utilizes the easy play with a great spike across the court that goes unanswered by Ty Jr. Doris Carter. However, the lead was just too much for Alabama to recover from. At match point, Alabama digs the tip from Tennessee but sends a free ball that the Volunteers used to set up Addison Rowe with a facial to end the match. Alabama falls to Tennessee at home 3-0. I'm Laura Slavinsky. Thanks for watching sports on WVUA 23.